What's up guys? Welcome to another video and today's video it's a bit on the it's a bit on the concerning side. So recently if you watched my last video uh, that I did, it was about like it was about multi beaters and all and I was actually reviewing this one. But um when I uploaded the video I actually had some audio issues so I had to re-upload it. So you really won't hear what I'm talking about today in in the actual, um, in the version I'm uploading today. Also, um, and also, if it looks a bit different, I am actually, um, Apple did extend out, like, like, um, free trials for, for their Final Cut Pro system, for Final Cut Pro, so I'm gonna be trying that out for the next 90 days. Better for quarantining, I guess. I mean, I guess Apple wanted wanted people to have some enjoyment and wanted to edit some videos. I guess if you wanted to edit videos during your quarantine and self-isolation, makes a lot of sense. Makes perfect sense. So they extended out all... So on their professional apps, Apple extended out their, their trials to 90 days. And so, other than that, um, today I've got some really concerning stuff to talk about. So, there are a lot of spam accounts on YouTube, of course, and and although there are some like that do it for subscribers, there are some that actually do it for um, for comments and stuff. They just comment on people's videos, like they they write some very short comments and just spam them onto various videos from YouTubers. And I was actually one of those who got those comments. I actually got three on the vid on the one on the video that I had to take down actually. Um, the version that I had to take down I actually had like three comments from some spam YouTuber who was who was actually commenting this like three times actually. And although it although the actual comments themselves seem seem nice like they're uplifting like like Nice video, my dude. Nice video. Uh, you got some great content, my dude. Um, it really wasn't any of that. And, um, yeah, so I, so I'm gonna be talking about that one. And, and it's, and, although it doesn't damage the channel at all, it's just, it's just not the best thing to have. I mean, like, like, although they're seemingly good, it's actually just a spam bot, and, um, it's a spam bot for YouTubers, and it kind of, it doesn't really take away subscribers, but it's just weird, because these YouTubers, these fake YouTubers have, like, a ton of subscribers, yet they comment on channels, on very small channels, at random. It could have been a case of of some kind of randomness, like some kind of random thing, like, you know, you have been randomly selected for something, like, something like that, but, and it's not really that concerning, but it's just weird having those content, or those, um, comments on, on your video. I took the video down because of the audio issues, I mean, if you watch the initial version of it that I had to upload on there, um, on that night, it was a bit... You couldn't hear me at all. You could only hear the music. So, um, so yeah, I had to redo that. I might have to upload it a second time because of some, because of some glitches and bugs. And um, so, so um, I have some. So, there have actually been many reports of these kinds of things happening. These YouTubers, just these random YouTubers, just commenting on videos on random people's videos usually people like me who have small amounts of subscribers like I only have 22 but like if your subscribers count is like it's like under 10k I think it is it's like you it's like you'll get these comments this youtuber who I'm naming is actually the, is under is is actually supposed to be a it's supposed to be something about the comical Canadian now, the comical Canadian is actually a Fortnite YouTuber in his legitimate state, but um, but this other fake spam account it actually just stole the name and just used it as an excuse to 
comment on people's videos, on gullible people's videos. And what he would do is that he would set up a playlist called Uploads, because normal YouTube has that playlist already created for you, but the but this version of the playlist would actually contain would contain videos and content from the legitimate YouTuber. And although it just it just seems weird just to have like just to just like to steal like this kind of content. It's not really stealing, it's just linking to the to the legitimate YouTuber's content. Um I've I've actually I've actually seen um I've actually seen it and I did actually record something like how to block these people. And how you go and block them is that you just block them and they will not be in your comments. Their random selection bot will not appear in your comments. That's what I did. And I suggest you do that if if you have a YouTube channel and you want to do that too. But the real issue I have with with these kinds of things is that it's just not the best. And there were actually other YouTubers. There was actually some, some, some like non-copyright record label from Australia that was a or that apparently had a fake channel for it. And of all people, Mr. Beast, you know, one of the most generous YouTubers in the world, he actually has a knockoff channel. Like, and I actually when I because like when I went on that comical Canadians channel, that fake ones channel, that fake guys channel. Um, I actually went under the, the, um, community, or actually the channels thing, and what happened is that, is that he actually linked, he actually linked, um, he actually plugged the Mr. Beast channel, which, Mr. Beast, as you know, nice guy, very generous, I mean, he just recently donated, like, a million dollars worth of meals, to the average food bank, to the local food bank, which is, which is, which I, which I would, which I find it very amazing. Um, but what really happened is that, um, is that he actually, that this spam version of him, the spam channel, had actually, had actually had a, the similar th had the same thing going. There was a, there was just one playlist that just said uploads, and it just had three, and it was just links to three Mr. Beast videos. And now, when you go and look at the, that, now, on that fake comical Canadian, that fake comical Canadian guy, um, he actually had, when you go into his community section, if you go into his community tab, there is actually a, there's actually a comment written on there. That he goes on, because the community tab is how a lot of creators like myself go and talk with with people. Uh, unfortunately, you're the only one who can. Unfortunately, if you're the YouTuber, you're the only one who can write to it, and people can reply to your comment there. I've ha I myself have had to use it many times, and usually in announcing why I can't get a video out or even muster up a stream. So I always, so if I can't do that, I always type down my excuses in there, and and I don't know if people understand or not, but I don't even know if it gets to people, but I know a lot of YouTubers actually do that. It kind of works. You get, you get, you get like similar notifications, similar to uploading a video. So at least it, uh, at least it actually works out, and. It's a good way for the, the content creator to speak with their fans and stuff. But one of the things he posted on his comment thing, on his community thing, it's literally the funniest thing. I don't have it on hand, but it was something along the lines of how his girlfriend broke up to him and he was looking for people to <laughs> to give him nice give him nice things to say about it. Like like okay, like he's looking for he is looking for people to to literally like to literally cry for him. He was creating a little a literal sob story, this fake YouTuber. So, and then in the replies, I actually I actually kind of chimed in with my own reply, kind of sort of. But various YouTubers, various other people actually um, they actually were like, stop, yeah. 
you would be able to get her back if you if you didn't if you didn't um if you didn't spam in people's in small YouTubers comments sections like like many of us did and these were all small YouTubers who were affected by this guy and although it's not really concerning they aren't he isn't doing much harm he's not ruining your subscriber base he's just spamming comments and nobody likes spam I mean yeah and Unfortunately, they're trying to get at the smaller YouTubers because the smaller YouTubers are the more gullible ones, and um, I kind of had that at, on my video because he was like, because he was like, because it was like amazing content, dude, and I was like, I allowed I allowed that first comment in, but then the rest of the comments, and then YouTube automatically let the other two comments on the actual comment section. Um, I can't really show the comments because I made the video private and apparently you can't really show comments in a private video that's been privatized. And and I am uploading and I am going to be uploading the I think I might be I'm yeah, I don't know. But I've seen other YouTubers talk about this guy. It's not any good. But what's been happening is that this is just this is just a bit much for the average YouTuber, and so, and so, um, if you if you ever have anybody who's really concerned by this, uh, it's, um, just tell them to block the YouTuber. And if you are one of these small YouTubers affected by these people, you can simply block these people because they actually, they actually can, and they. If, if they are blocked from your channel, they can't actually, they cannot comment. I don't even think they can even view your video. But honestly, it's just an AI just picking random and then just, and then just typing out some useless comment on, on some YouTuber's channel like it's, like it's nobody's business. And it's just, and yeah, um, it's not the best. I've seen other YouTubers get hit by this and, Honestly, once and that's the best way you can protect yourself. Um, down in the down in the description, I'm gonna prepare a bit of a spreadsheet for all y'alls of all the YouTubers who I actually know who have legitimate channels and those who actually have fake channels on the side, and and links to those fake channels so you can go and block them and keep them from doing anything. Um, the best, again, like I said, best protection, blocking them. But anyway, um, so I'll leave all the, I'll leave like a list, I'll leave a spreadsheet of all the YouTubers who I know who actually have fake ones, I've, I've seen them all around here and stuff, and I'll just, um, um, right now I know of like, like 10 plus fake YouTubers, and so that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, and if you like what you saw, please leave a like and subscribe. I'm trying to get up above, above the 1k mark for subscribers, this way I can start getting some better videos out, some better content out of this. And um, if you like what you saw, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you later. And...